Hello, the internet, Saffron here. Going into Black Sad Under the Skin, which is a game I've been waiting for for quite a while. It was announced way back, I don't know, I wanna say I heard about it in late 2017. And then it was supposed to come out in September of 2019. And then they pushed it back to November. And then they had a release but it didn't come to the States until December. So I've had it for actually a couple weeks, but I haven't been able to play it because I've been trying to finish other games, but now I finally get to play it. And for anyone that doesn't know about Black Sad, it's about an anthropomorphic cat and he is a detective in 1950s New York, which I'm, I'm not so keen on the setting, but like the whole, the anthropomorphic animals and stuff, I'm into that. So I just thought it would be fun. And I've seen, it's based on a comic Okay, and, and the comic has been around for quite a few years. I want to say like 90s. At the very, I'm not positive. I only I only heard about the comic like within the last year or so. And I have the first two volumes and they were really good because uh, they deal with, you know, issues of the time. You know, so there's like, you know, corrupt cops and racism and, uh, you know, all this other stuff that, you know, was happening. I'm not a historian. I don't know what was happening all during the 50s. Okay. <laughs> So, but it, it is just kind of, it's just kind of neat how it's presented. Uh, so, but, so when the game came out or was announced, I really wanted to get it. So now here we are, I finally get to play it. So we're going to get started. And as you can see, we're already off to a great start. We have a body hanging in uh, what I believe is a boxing gym. Yeah, oh dear. Is that, is that a rabbit? Some kind of feline? She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't even notice. Which I suppose is not something you're automatically looking for. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Interactive drama uses similar controls to other games of this genre. Do you still want to enable the tutorial? Yes, because I don't generally play games in this genre. So let's see what it tells. Yeah, it saves automatically. That's fine. I get that. That's about any game nowadays. I got itchy ear. Hold on. Itchy, itchy. It's funny, it sped up all the way to 99% and then it stopped. It's like, nope, no more loading. <laughs> that last that last one percent must just be the really big. <laughs> oh, and then there's still more loading. Why even have the counter then? <sighs> it means nothing. The counter, it means nothing. Oh, okay, now we can game. <laughs> John Black Sand. Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Oh, I might have to turn on subtitles. Disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. <gasps> He's smoking! He can't smoke! I swear I'll paralyze him! Hey! Hand over the pictures, you bastard! Now! Otherwise! You're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? Oh, when talking with other characters, you get to choose both your questions and answers. In some conversations, you can take all the time you need, and others you will have to think quickly and reply before your time is up. In these occasions, you can also choose to stay silent. Oh, okay. Oh, so it kind of plays. So it's kind of a choose your own, which I have done choose your own adventure stuff before. Um, but okay, we're in the tutorial now. Do I know you? Your face rings a bell, but. You've been spying on me. Huh. You took pictures of me with a lady. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, then you'll understand why I didn't really focus on your face, right? <laughs> I'm gonna kill Oh, okay, yeah, so, yeah, Q QT, okay. QTEs. QTEs, front and prompts, all that good stuff. So I guess we probably could have skipped the tutorial. Yeah, thank you. Tip disabled, thank you. Get off me, right, man. Rock steady, beat it. 
Oh yeah, yep, yep. I guess I should have thought of this as similar to uh Um The Wolf Among Us. You know, kind of the same Yeah, that wasn't very uh that wasn't very bright considering it was a rhino with a big horn. <laughs> Ooh. I wanna throw the typewriter at him? Ooh. I like that, the the effect of the blood on the camera. It's a nice little touch. Uh, I was gonna say he's got a gun. Oh jeez. Oh man, you broke my jaw. Well now it matches your marriage. <laughs> Those pictures. I'm dead meat. You ruined my life, please. You're the one that cheated on your wife. Meddling in others' affairs, but it's my job, and I've got bills to pay. You're the one cheating on your wife, buddy. This is on you. Hey, I'm no two-timer, I swear. It only happened once, for God's sake. Well, once is still cheating. That's all. She seduced me. I love my wife. Honest to God. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. Ah. <sighs> it's, it's most important information you find during the investigation will be recorded in the deck text, blah, blah, blah. A new entry is included. Notification will pop up. Okay. It's, it's just not right. This wouldn't be ethical, would it? If I hide the truth, I deny her a freedom of will, her right to choose. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures and tell her a white lie and I pay you- I was going to say, now here comes the bribe. You save my family and you make a pretty penny. I'm not going to take a bribe. Deal? For as long as I can remember. I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. Oh, no, I'm just gonna say no deal. I'm only making things worse. You better leave before I lose it. Look, partner, I've been asking about you. You're a good detective, but I know you've seen better days. You've had nothing but crappy cases lately, like this one. I'm offering you a way out. Money can go a long way, you know. You could try running some ads. Maybe you'll find better clients in well-paid games. Uh, Start all over? Come on, think about it. You can save my family and save yourself. No, I'm not taking the money. I warned you. Okay, now I'm officially about to lose my cool. Spirit, the mayor did risk and stuff. <laughs> Okay, well, that's what it is. I guess I should have done the third choice and been like, well, I don't want the bribe, but I guess your family's going to be okay, too. I could have played the uh, middle of the fence. No, don't shoot. You are going to regret messing with Eugene Colbert. Pray to God you will. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. Interesting. Hitting a brick wall. First of all, a massive headache. Yeah, the headbutt probably wasn't the best idea. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. <laughs> Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Third, the feeling that my moral compass was far too calibrated for my own good. Yeah. Last but not least, uh, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. Now who? Oh. He's a nice guy. You'll I'm going to just wait here. <sighs> you see what I said about my pal Black Sand? <laughs> Doesn't even know you. And he's already offering you a seat. Jake, old friend. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever learn to knock? Jake, how the hell am I supposed to guess it's you if you don't even knock first? Shut up and listen. Buddy. Right. All right. Okay, we're going to pause here a second. Um... Is there a way to put subtitles? <laughs> I gotta see about that. Okay, subtitles apply. <laughs> yes, I wanna change the new settings. Thank you, game. Yeah, that's a little weird that you have to use the R and L to scroll through options, but whatever, it's there now. I brought you a client. There, very good. See, now this is more like the cats in the new Cats movie. Maybe that's what they should have looked like. <laughs> Instead of these weird human faces pasted on furry bodies. Yeah. 
We won't go into that. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome music. It matches the era, which I mean, it should. And the genre. I like that too with the, the depth of field. That's pretty nice. The graphics are good in this game. So the lips movements are a little wonky, but you know, considering what they're dealing with, I can't fault them too much for that. And the fur effects are pretty much non-existent. And that's why we need to find him soon or we, we will have a very serious problem. Mm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. Let me see if I have this straight. The voiceovers are pretty good so far. Navigate through different hotspots. Select the hotspot you want to interact with. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Your father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym owner, hanged himself two days ago. Yes. He's been in the gym the, for two days like that? Nobody saw him? Bobby Yale, a boxer at Dunn's gym, has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared two days ago. Huh. At the same time your father died. Interesting. In short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no. Wait. Jake wants you to find Bobby. <laughs> Really? Oh, I see. Well, first of all... Oh, let's be I'm polite sorry, first. Please, please accept my condolences. Thank you. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? Um... Yeah, well, t I'll, be, I'll be nice about it. Sure. I know the money is tight, so uh, how about this? If I solve the case... I'll be the, the good guy. And I know in the comic seal, Black Sad is always... he's He kind of walks that line, so... And I wonder what would happen if you had been like, nope, not taking the case. Would it have been just simply game over? Would it have just been, okay, that's it? Or what? I suppose there probably might have been some more... I don't know if begging is the appropriate word, but some more uh, trying to get around that. Game, the numbers mean nothing. Okay. America! America! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Can't have an actual sponsorship, so they just have America Trucks Tough. Dealies Liquors. Yeah, that's kind of the one thing about this world, too. It's it's more like Bojack Horseman, where it's basically humans with animal heads. You know, whereas you have others like, you know, the Sing is a good example where they're animals. So they, you know, you have mice that are small or like Zootopia is a good example, too, where animals represent more their animal side than human side. But it works well for this. I know you already went to Yale's apartment and found nothing, but I'll search it myself at some point. Okay. We have Bobby Yale's address. That cleaning lady, Mariam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body. She works part-time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. On the left, right? Uh, I think the I right left? Pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, to see what I can find. I can't believe they left the rope up. I suppose, though, if it's still a crime yeah, scene. To start with for now. Mary Purnell, the waitress. And the cleaning lady. Oh! Oh! I get to walk around! Ooh! Uh. Is that done? He was a musician. Okay. And then he was only he owned a boxing ring? That's weird. 
Oh, I know you can pan. Okay. I don't know what's up the stairs. We're going to go look. That's why we're a detective. We explore everything. It's perfect for me. Because I like to explore. I don't know what's on the rooftop, but we're going to see if we can't find anything. Oh, some nice chairs up here. Look at that. Good place to view. Helen Moore's secret, huh? Champies. Interesting. Okay. That wasn't exactly what I was thinking I was going to be looking at, but sure. <laughs> yes, even though this is based in, you know, real world New York, they really do give it its own identity, which is nice. Well, I can squeeze through there. Sure. Oh, suddenly music. I guess I wasn't paying attention to the fact that there was no music until there was suddenly music. It's kind of a strange thing. All right, can I climb up these stairs? Do they do? No, okay. I can just look down at the streets though, cool. Yeah, it's a nice view. All right, apparently there's really nothing up here to look at. We can check, oh wait. Someone should weld the iron bar on those panels. Okay. So why was that broken? Wonder ponder, wonder ponder. Okay. That's whoops. <laughs> they they make a lot of the shots very cinematic. Okay. Uh, I think I think I'm just gonna have to end the episode here. Ah, so, the, so we got started anyway. We at least got hired on this case. We have to now figure out this murder mystery. Uh, we will interview the waitress next episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all later. Stay